Oh, what's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and I'm here with the one, the only Gabrielle. Oh, my daughter Gabrielle, and we're at my house. So mm -hmm. check this out. We just thought, you know what? Let's actually throw out some inspiration. Let's actually bring manufacturing to the house. So we actually cleaned up one of our rooms and uh, made a makerspace. It's called yeah. Makerspace 77, and we just got a CNC machine. What? Gabby, what else do we have? We have a 3D printer. We got a 3D printer and we're just starting a total creative manufacturing facility right inside of our house. Ah, oh, come check it out. Oh, oh, we got mountains. Look at that. Come on, let's go inside. Welcome to the Gilroy residence. So just weeks ago, probably three weeks ago, I started talking to my wife and I'm like, you know, like these kids, like they, they just, they play with their toys, but I don't think they truly appreciate their toys. You know what I mean? And like, we have such a good life with manufacturing, you know, it's given us such a good life, but I don't want them to grow up spoiled. I want them to solve problems and I want them to create things and understand the magic in that creative art. So I just started talking about taking this yellow room that we had, which was a room that when we purchased this house, we made this room because my son Nathaniel has autism and we wanted a place that uh, tutors could come in and work with him in this creative place, but it was a yellow room, right? They were younger, they were four years old, five years old. And since then we've had this room and it's just been kind of outdated a little bit because now they're eight year old twins, right? So I started like looking at the yellow room and I started just speaking to my wife, like let's actually go and get rid of all the toys, donate them to people that need, and basically come to a place where we bring in manufacturing into that room, create a maker space additive and subtractive and teach our kids the value of making things. All right, Gabby, are you excited to go show them our makerspace? Yeah. All right, let's go, let's go check this out, all right? Welcome to Makerspace 77. Oh man, check it out. 3D printing. Oh. Gabby, what are we making? R2-D2. Oh. oh man, what is this? G-code going off in our house. Oh, I just made a little program. What? It's just making a little circle right there. Just got this bad boy. Crazy. Look at that, it's got a tool setter, X, Y, and Z milling machine. Like one of these little desktop crazy milling Tormac calls it a router, but it is a mill. Like you basically can program it just like a mill. You can thread mill, you can do all these cool little things. It's just miniature, small parts, plastic. Oh, it just finished. Oh, what's actually cool is I'll just zero these guys. So I'll zero Z, I'll say okay. Boom. I'll zero this guy, I'll say okay. And you can see it just move, it's moving over there. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna zero X. Boom. That basically puts it right back in position. And then I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna go to that, I'm gonna go to that starting point right there. I'm just gonna click this guy. Boom. Oh, and it just goes over there. 80 inches a minute. I know it can go like 100 inches a minute. It can actually go 20,000 RPMs. This is a 530 seconds end mill. So, you know, it's not for big parts. It's not for production. This is for learning the trade, having fun with your kids you know, uh, learning it yourself, making cool projects out of plastic, wood, you know, some probably simple aluminum, like 6061. It's just for like small things. What do you got there? If you watch Star Wars, this is Darth Vader. Is that Darth Vader? Yeah. Oh, how did you make it, Gabby? 
with my 3D printer. Oh man. Hey, look at that. You got a Mars rover. You got the Statue of Liberty. And you're learning about all these things. We got a Jeep we just started. Oh, what's cool is like, look at this piece. This was actually printed like this, connected, printed, connected. Super cool. So one of the things that I'll say is that we're dealing with eight year olds, right? So safety is definitely a concern, especially with my son, Nathaniel, who has autism. I wanted to make sure that we protected the machines and we protected them, right? So we actually built this acrylic box right here. Pretty cool, right? And it goes right over the 3D printer. We put some air holes right there and uh, measured handles and 3D printed the handles on the very 3D printer they were actually using. So now I can grab it here, I can grab it on the other side and I can literally just lift it off and protect it when I feel it's needed, all right? Now, for the additive, the Prusa Mini is what we went with. And that's because at the shop, we have the Prusa, the larger one, and it's like a thousand bucks, like 999, right? But it actually works better than many that are like thousands of dollars. So when I saw the Mini come out, I was like, this is gonna be perfect for my kids. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, uh, Gabby, manufacturing in our own house. Uh -huh. Super cool, right? Yeah. What part do you like the best so far that we've made? Any of these? Yeah. One of my best is this one and this one. Oh, you like the fidget spinner? And this. Yeah, super cool, right? Kids, they're so awesome, right? Making their own toys, making it happen. See you in the next video. Subscribe to Make Your Space 77.